welcome back to a new video so i kind of started the video already i'm not quite sure what happened <laughs> but i'm using nalkami's um gel polish today i have applied two coats of salt stone which is their white gel polish and i am going over with some velvet matte top coat um the nails i'm doing are a lovely sort of easy spring set i really like this set um i'm using right the nail isn't finished although we've gone over with a matte top coat we have not finished the the nail um the reason i've gone over with matte is because i'm going to apply some um prism powder and i don't want that to stick to the tacky layer on the nail i want it to stick to the flowers that i'm about to draw on and i'm using the artisan gel paint in black my now sugar natalie margaret detailer brush and i've got violet and foxglove from the very from the fairy garden collection and some prism powder if you don't want to put the velvet matte top coat on you can wipe the tacky layer off the the gel polish and just give it a slight buff um i am just putting the velvet matte top coat on because i can't be faffing around with all that wiping and buffing i'm a lazy bish <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is using the Artisan Gel Paint and the Now Sugar Natalie Margaret Detailer Brush. I'm speaking really fast. I need to slow down. I am drawing on some really easy flowers. They're kind of childlike, I suppose. Um, they're kind of like the flowers that you'd see in a child's colouring book. You know, just very, very simple. I'm trying to put six petals on. Um, five looks i don't know i kind of like six petals on the flowers i think six is just right so you kind of want to make sure that you get three on one half of the circle so that you can definitely put three more on the other side if you if you are going to struggle i mean put five it's not the end of the world i just i just thought six was a nice a nice even number though some people like odd numbers don't they hmm do you know what? Whatever floats your boat. Now, the black lines, the outlines of the drawing need to be quite thick. Um, and it doesn't matter what the inside looks like as long as the outside is neat. The, it's the outside that you're going to see because we're going to fill in the petals with the coloured gel polish. So it doesn't matter if the black, you know, if you've got... A, it doesn't matter if you go through the centre of a petal with the black... Um, you're not going to see it because we're going to cover it up. I'm going to do one more flower down here. Um, in the next now, I'm going to put some leaves on. Now the leaves, again, the leaves are very basic, um, very childlike. I, I really like it. Um, I've discovered an artist actually who does really happy art. I'll show you. I'm going to do a, a set of nails inspired by him actually. Um, so for this now, I've just put two flowers on. I'm going to cure that for about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to go over with the prism powder from Nail Sugar. You won't get this much prism powder in your pot. I think I had two pots and I just put them together. Um, so I'm dipping. Dibbing, dabbing that into that tacky layer then i'm going to put it back into cure for the rest of the 30 seconds the artisan gel paints cure for 60 seconds by the way fyi um, i'm putting a little bit of foxglove and violet on my palette because we're gonna we're gonna use this to fill in the petals i also need a little bit of salt stone which i don't really think about until afterwards um but yeah so here we go we're gonna um oh my god i can't speak i'm wiping away the excess prism powder um my brush did have some pink pigment on it from i was trying to do uh, i think it was from that set of oh, I, I used pigments in a set a little while ago um but i had to wipe the pink pigment off because it sort of stained the nail a little bit <laughs> whoops um right i'm going over now with some no wipe top coat this is to finish the the nail off because we're not going to do anything else to the actual base of the nail now there we go i'm going to pop that in the lamp then you're going to need some acrylic to make the gel polish uh, matted so i'm this is petal from nelchemy i was going to say from genesis but their acrylic range is called genesis right so if you see here i'm taking the gel polish and i'm just filling in that petal so we're kind of like we've made our own coloring in book on a nail basically <laughs> And 
I want to make sure that I can still see the outline but you see what I mean it doesn't really matter what the inside looks like um yeah it's just the outside needs to be neat once you've done if you're not happy doing all of them you can do one flower at a time um dab the sprinkle the acrylic into the gel polish just leave it for a few seconds and then if it goes shiny sprinkle some more on and then pop that in the lamp give it a double cure and then once it comes out you can brush off the excess acrylic and then move on to the next one so this one i am going to put the pink foxglove on this is one of my favorite colors and the violet violet is one of my favorite colors um again we're gonna just fill in the petals i also decided um i don't know why i didn't do it initially um but the middle of the flowers i'm gonna put some of that white saltstone gel polish to you know just to fill out the middle because i thought it needed something in the middle and again you can use any color you can do any shape you can do shapes you don't have to do flowers um magpie beauty done one you with a they done like a fish a fish's tail um like a mermaid tail i saw that on their instagram that's actually what gave me the idea to do this there we go sprinkle it on and then pop it in the lamp for a double cure then this is the this is when i'm like we need to get salt stone out so again i'm just putting a little tiny bit on my palette because i don't need a lot because this is only going to be for the center of the flowers and uh, it just fills it out it just looks a lot nicer see it already looks nicer doesn't it and i haven't even put the acrylic on yet and that petal acrylic has got like it's got it's not clear it's not a clear acrylic it's like um it's got a shimmer in it and i don't know i don't know if it picks it up here but you can there's like a shimmer now on that gel polish and it just makes it look really nice it's difficult to sh pick up on the camera also in real life the prism powder looks more hollow than it does on the camera um i've got them in front of me now and they look i just this is i love this set it's probably one of my favorite sets okay so we're doing another nail <clears throat> i did want to show you me doing the leaf but i went out of shot on this nail i've done the flowers coming up, like half off and half on the nail and i'm going to put some leaves two leaves um in the center not in the center but between those roses not roses the flowers see can you see my leaves again they're very childlike they're not you know they're not realistic looking i'm going to put one more at the top I was like, there's a big gap there. I was like, why haven't I done a leaf? That, well, you know, why have I missed one? Um, I'm using apple blossom for the leaves. Sorry, I feel like my words are really mumbled today. I can't get my... When I speak quickly, um, when I get excited, I speak very fast. And when I speak very fast, words come out before I've thought about what I'm saying. And I, I get tongue-tied a lot. Um, I think I'm just a little bit stupid. <laughs> I'm a little bit special, uh, so yeah. So again, I am. Um, I've only part cured this artisan gel paint. Pop the prism powder on, and then you can pop it back in the lamp for the final cure. Um, what's the? Oh yeah, I've seemed to have already brushed the prism powder off, but yeah, going in, you can see I've put that second leaf on. It just fills out that space. And um, there was a little bit of pink pigment residue at the top but i wasn't too fussed because that petal i'm going to fill in anyway so i thought like well, we're not going to see it there and i didn't think it would notice um so be careful when you're using pigments because they're very um they just they get everywhere <laughs> make sure you clean your brushes out right so um i've done the flowers i've haven't put the acrylic on yet because i'm just going to do it all at once on this nail if you're not confident enough well i don't know if it's about I don't know if it's a thing about confidence just don't knock any of the colors that you've already put on uh, that's that's my worry because i have a habit of knocking colors sometimes with my fat fingers <laughs> there we go so i'm just filling in the leaves the the leaves remind me of a bit of animal crossing i love animal crossing so much there we go so now i've done all of them and I've put, I have put little white dots on as well, but you don't really see them because they're right on the edges. I'm just going to sprinkle the acrylic over. 
if you've got um just you can use clear acrylic i only use this one because it was an alchemy one and, and i thought i'd just stick to an alchemy video um the clear one i usually use is an ao one but you know pop that into the lamp to cure for two for a minute because the gel polish cures for 30 seconds but because we have sprinkled acrylic over i'm going to give it a double cure there we go i'm going to do another one of those nails with the leaves on and then i shall show you then the next part i love these they're so cute they're so cute right so there we go right we've got our leafy nails and our flowery nails and on the two side nails i am going to do two no I only do one layer of salt stone on these because it's really pigmented and I, I do you know what I looked at them when they came out and I thought I don't think I need another coat so I'm gonna do this on two nails the two end nails and then I'm gonna cure them into my LED lamp for 30 seconds <clears throat> I've got a tickle in my throat I feel like I'm gonna sneeze or something then I'm just gonna draw out like a free edge with my gel polish i'm using the violet and the fox glove for these nails uh one's going to be violet one's going to be fox glove um if you struggle doing these i like a night if i've got like if i'm doing a set with long nails i like the i like to do a nice long extended nail bed if you want to you can mark out where you want your nail bed i kind of just go for it a little bit um but yeah if you struggle then you can sort of like put you know just sort of dot it out i'm not very good at explaining stuff like this but all i'm going to do is use the violet to fill in the free edge of this nail <clears throat> i'm going to take a swig of vimto or oh, i do love my vimto it has to be zero sugar vimto from a can I don't know if they do it in a bottle. Do they do it in a bottle? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So once I'm happy, again, if you feel like you need two coats of this, you can go over with another coat. I don't think you're going to need it because I, I didn't need two coats. It covered really nicely. There we go. That's going to go in the lamp. Then um the other nail, I'm going to sort of work out where I want the free edge to begin. Um, I have made it slightly more towards the free edge end because if i muck up then i will obviously have to bring the free edge up a little bit more towards the cuticle area i hope i'm making sense so i did mark it a little bit lower um anyway i'm just going to fill this bit in and then i will cure that and now they're both done i'm gonna make i was gonna make them matte finish but i was like no i'm gonna because the whole set is shiny apart from the matted flowers i thought i'm gonna keep this shiny and then i thought maybe i should have matted the um maybe i should have done these with a shiny nail bed and a matted free edge that would have looked quite nice but it is it would i i done it i hadn't yeah i hadn't done it in the right order so i couldn't so i was like right we're just gonna make these glossy <coughs> glassy tackle <laughs> I love saying that. I don't know why. Right, they're going to go in the lunch queue for 30 seconds. And then I will show you the finished set. Here they are. I'm going to do a quick close-up. Sorry, I feel like I'm shouting. <laughs> anyway, if you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Do check out Nail Camille's website. I'll leave it in the description box below. And I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get one done in time with another video. <laughs> Bye. Love you all.